What's up guys, Putty here and welcome back, well welcome to EU4 Common Sense Expansion Pack. So this released yesterday, uh, unbeknownst to me, I couldn't find a release date anywhere the last couple of weeks, I guess I wasn't really looking for one. Um, but yeah, it released yesterday uh, under my nose and I was like, hmm, what should I do now that I'm, I'm recording a lot more, so should I record uh, a game with Common Sense? And I was like, hmm, yeah, alright. So. Today we're going to be playing with the Common Sense expansion enabled, and uh, the country, uh, the Common Sense expansion. For those of you who don't play you for a lot, I've I've been play I've played for like 500 hours, um, but I'm by no means an expert in the game. Um, but I I do know my way my way around it. Like um, the Common the Common Sense expansion, um, what it does is it adds certain new government types and. Uh, a parliamentary system for certain governments. Uh, there's free cities as well. That's a that's a new thing. Nope, that's a duchy. Uh, let's find a free city. I think Frankfurt's a free city. Oh, Ulm definitely is. Yeah, there you go. And then the one next to it, Nuremberg. Nuremberg's a free city as well. Is Württemberg? No. Ansbach isn't either. Frankfurt. There you go. Frankfurt's the most obvious one. There's a couple in Italy as well, like Lucia, Luca, Lucia, whatever that is. Um, and Montferrat. Montferrat. But, um, I'm, and also the Hundred Years' War doesn't start automatically anymore. Uh, what are the other things? Oh, Hinduism and Protestantism have been expanded a lot. Uh, the way provinces work have ex has been expanded. Um, you can increase their base tax over time now. Also, you've got stuff like uh, war mechanics. You know, instead of having to siege down the entire country or sieging down provinces for war score, you only siege fort provinces. And also, you need a lot more men to do it now. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I'm sure we're going to get into it as we play. Um, but the country I've decided to play is uh, England, because Britain's always fun for me. And I want to give uh, England another bash, because there's a lot of new things with them. They have their own kind of parliamentary, uh, parliamentary system that's a little different to everyone else's, if you look. Here we go. So England have their own parliamentary system with seats and, and a debate. I'm not sure whether anybody else has that, but it, England has that while a kingdom. <laughs> so, I don't really know. The English monarchy is a representative monarchy with a parliament called regularly by the ruling monarch. It's based on the privileges defined by Magna Carta. I want to know what types of reforms we can do now. So we can form the British, na uh, British nation, which we've always been able to do, but we need to own Lothian and Aberdeen, which is Scottish provinces, obviously. Lothian is there, and Aberdeen is up here. Basically, conquer is conquer. You do not need, as is obvious, um, Ireland. But uh, that's going to be like main, uh, main objectives for us in this series, uh, well, at least early on, is conquering Ireland. Uh, so getting an ally over there is probably a good idea. Connacht would go any of the southern states would be very willing to do it with us. Um, also in my lot in my test save Castile were friendly. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Aragon though? Hmm. Aragon is nowhere near as appealing as a ally as Castile were. I was planning on doing a few things down there. Castile would have really helped against France as well. Austria though. Austria though. Hmm. Yes. Austria, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably look towards Austria. Austria could help early on. Burgundy as well. Yeah. Just because what we want to do, really, in the early game, since the Hundred Years, Hundred Years War doesn't really kick off straight away, um, is I'd like to keep these provinces. These provinces are useful, especially these two. Um, I, I don't really care about taking land in France. If the new war mechanics allow us to do so, cool, that'd be great, but um, I'm not too concerned with it. I just want to keep my provinces. Let's take a look at the trade nodes, I wonder if they've changed anything. Not really. This means France has no influence in the English sea, in the English channel. That's what we want, right? Yeah, that's right. France not even in there, bro. So, if we can keep France away from there, that's that's fine. Did I just see Holland? Holland started as their own nation now? Has that always been the case? I don't think so. No. 
Burgundy used to be all in this bitch. What happens with Dutch independence now then? Hmm. Sweden have a new flag. There's Sweden. <laughs> I think that's a new flag. They used to have like lions or something. Um, hmm. Well, first thing we've got to do is apparently we have no too many too few seats in Parliament. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I don't really understand the system too much yet, is I'm just going to give the highest beast, oh, well, the highest, oh, the highest um, tax provinces in the nation uh, par uh, parliamentary seats, because I think that makes a, lot, a little bit of sense. So I'm going to give Gascoin, even though it's off the off the homeland, like, I feel like that's not the best idea. What the hell's that? Oh! Return this province to green. <laughs> well, if I did that, it would probably end up going back to France, so... No thank you. Although that one seems like a little bit of a problem child, doesn't it? But, Gascon, fine. Let's give it to... Let's give it a seat in Parliament. There's a certain thing about not giving ones that are off the mainland a seat, and also a certain thing about uh, not giving non-English culture provinces a seat. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get around to something like that. Also, all of these have bad cultures, which is unfortunate. We probably should send some troops over. Okay, next seat goes to Wessex and then Yorkshire, because I, th I think you'll need to give three at the start. Although there is obviously the, the chance we will lose Gascoigne, so... There is obviously the chance that we need to reassign another one afterwards. So that's enough seats uh, in Parliament. Seven to start the game. That's fine. Probably would... By the end of the game, we probably will have a seat in every province, but... It depends. At least every <laughs> home province. We got a War of the Roses. A uh, lingering disaster that we're going to have to deal with eventually. The only way to stop it is to get an heir, which is pretty much random, but we're looking for some royal marriages. Okay, what's this? The staple port. Oh, this, yeah, the staple port. What do you need for that? Oh, okay. What's this then? In order to efficiently tax things, we need to regulate them. If we were to designate Calais as the sole port point of import for the wood staple, we can improve our tax revenues dramatically. So wait, what does that actually mean? Ooh, Flanders don't like it. But we gain 10 mercantilism, and there's also a couple of other benefits in there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm assuming that's on Calais. Yeah. And that's, to that's until the end of the game, so... Is that, Fla is that Flanders? We could end up going to war with Flanders unless they're... Oh! All of these little states in former Burgund Burgundian territories are vassals under Burgundy. That makes sense. So the falling apart of Burgundy could change. Well, let's keep an eye on that. Burgundy are friendly to us, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, I guess not surprisingly, because we both hate France, but a little surprisingly considering we could take their territory. And if we want to do anything in Europe, which I tend not to do, but things have changed now, um, then it's probably a good idea. So I'm going to start a debate in Parliament. I don't really know how this works anyway. Um, so, appropriate land for the state, which you gain base tax in Gloucestershire and Northumberland, which seems useful. Um, but if, of course, if you lose the... Oh, okay. But we can't get an heir. <laughs> Alright, I'll do this one, because that one seems useless. Base tax might not be as powerful as it used to be, but base tax was pretty powerful back in the day. I'll talk about that in a second, because I have been fooling around with this off-screen. But, um, basically I want to show you this. You can now improve base tax with 60 admin points. So, oh god, two base tax, really? Okay, that's five. Okay, everything's still the same. Is London still like, yeah, eight. <laughs> Alright. So trade is currently located in London, which is fine, which is good, which is what you want. Um, kind of. North Sea we could... Oh, no. Yep. English Channel. England never ends up dominating a trade note outside of India. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and even India sometimes, like, you don't. But hmm. we, we want to do some exploration as soon as possible. You can't do it yet, I'm assuming. Not do any exploration missions yet. Where are exploration zones anyway? I've forgotten where they are, it's been a while. 
There they are. Must have an explorer, so we need to be looking towards getting exploration ideas. Reclaim Armagnac, which I believe is French. Yes, it is. Really? We used to have that? Hmm? That's a core province? Hmm. Let's check the diplomacy view, because that could be really useful to see where our cores are. Things might have changed. No, it's it's literally just Armagnac. And then we got a Burgundian core as well. Picardy. Which I don't know man, I feel like we should we should we should get. And then we should we should prob we should try and take this coast. No, but Brittany are pretty friendly towards us though. Hmm. <laughs> France could be beaten into the ground. <laughs> or you or they could blob. You know, I think there's a lot more open openness there. Um so obviously diplomatic points are more useful at the moment, right? Right. But also we need to try and get to Admin Tech 2. Because if we get to Admin Tech 2, we can... Sorry, Admin Tech 4. <laughs> if we get to Admin Tech 4, we can get the ideas? Wait. When do national ideas come in? 5. We need to get Admin Tech 5. So... Do we, how much of a profit do we make per month? I think that's monthly. It's been a while. I haven't played in since like El Dorado came out. Uh, four gold, so we can definitely afford one of these, right? I forgot. If you don't like these advisors, you can shuffle them out nowadays. National unrest would be fun, and these two can tend to pay for themselves. Although I don't get an eleven two advisor until very later on. So. I'll go with National Unrest, unless it's like really low, because we need to deal with, National, with War of the Roses at some point. There's no Rebels at the moment. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna go with the National Unrest. I think we're gonna have to deal with a lot of Rebels at some point. One decade a month, that's fine. And our focus is currently in that, which you can only change every 25 years, right? Right? Do we want to switch? I don't know. National decisions are available, though. Go up, you stupid boy. There you go. Pass Advancement of Religion Act. Missionary Strength plus, uh, plus one percent, or, and minus one National Unrest. Well, plus one National Unrest. Hmm. But the true religion is Protestantism, not Catholicism. Hmm. Do we have any, like, heathen provinces at the moment? No. And we don't want to convert, really. Not yet, anyway. So, let's leave that for now. For now. So, looming disaster, yes, we know about that. Rivals, what happened this time? Around the same as when my test played through. I was hoping Aragon does it, though. Last time it was Aragon, France, and Denmark. Which would have been a hell of a lot better. Um, okay, so now here comes the decision. Burgundy or Aragon? Because Aragon have rivaled us. Sorry, Burgundy or Castile. Because Castile have rivaled us. Um, but we do want Burgundian territory. Or do we? Or do we? I say yes. But wouldn't that distract us from a few things? I would rather be taking on the Scandinavian alliance. Personally, that would be my preference. Because I think we can beat them in a naval war early on, and taking this land would be useful to me. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna rival Castile because they'll stay out of my way. Problem is, if you rival Castile, they might ally France. Have they rivaled France? If they have, then we're fine. They haven't, but France have rivaled them. Which is, like, I play as Castile a lot in my early days. And that, that would be bullshit. <laughs> um. Hmm. We're fine. We'll, we'll rival Castile. I don't think they'll ally France. I, I think it's impossible when France have uh, uh, rivaled them. So, and we're gonna. Our main aims are against Denmark early on. But obviously, we want Austria. I would rather marry you first, which you will. Yeah. Because m marriage is gonna be more useful to us right now, unless France declare right now, which is possible. Anybody else we want to marry right away? Maybe we want to marry into um, into Ireland, but I'm not sure. 
I don't know when we want to declare as well. We want Ayrshire as soon as possible. But Scotland's a pretty hard battle because they're... Their independence is guaranteed by France, which has been the case for a while. They usually revoke that pretty early. Any any uh, supply limit provinces these guys can stay in? Yeah, all of them, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that then. Uh, we want a mission. What does improving our prestige give us? One stability, so, yeah. Alright. I don't know whether we can get to prestige uh, 50, but we'll try. Yeah, I don't really care about that. You can build buildings. Okay. Okay. Do I want an additional castles to defend off Scotland? One would assume I would. Then again, like, if I'm right, you have to siege castles to get war score, right? So, leaving your castles away from the Scottish border is a good idea? <laughs> or, or can they siege these provinces? Just instantly. That would be the question. I, I, I'm interested. I'm very interested. In fact, I'm very, I'm tempted to just, oh, well, I can't yet because of France and all that. I'm very tempted to declare on, on an Irish minor early on, though. Although, of course, you've got the, the only problem with that is you have aggressive expansion to worry about. That's not worth it at all. That's not worth it, is it? No. Oh, it doesn't tell you anymore whether it'd make you a profit, which is kind of a good thing because it was kind of wrong, but whatever. Lubeck. Is Lubeck worth it? Probably not. Here's a quick, like, oh, that's good. Let's, um, let's send the light ships to somewhere and see what that does to our overall trade income. And then see, holy shit! <laughs> and then see what uh, what that ends up getting us. Holy shit! How did that happen last month? <laughs> All right. And I, I assume Champagne is the one down here. Yeah. Oh, that's Bordeaux. Why Champagne? Oh, because you can't transfer directly from Bordeaux. Which, yeah, these these provinces are good for tax, though. Like, that's an incredible base tax. <laughs> hmm. Okay, right. We're in a position, we're okay. The Holy Roman Empire, uh, don't need to worry about that. Papacy, don't really need to worry about that. Austria's a big ally. Do we want to marry anywhere else? That was the question. Any long-term alliances? Portugal. Yeah, we already got an alliance with Portugal. Yeah. Let's marry that. Yeah, because they'll be on friendly terms with Castile. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright. Let's 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 start rolling. Let's start rolling a day and see what happens. Royal marriage. Royal marriage. This, royal marriages give you an increased chance for an heir, so um What? What are you talking about? Has it changed? Like, let me check the one of my next thing. On Castile, I guess. Is it, like, not anymore? A chance of an air? Hmm. That's interesting. That's... Maybe it is. Maybe it's just, like, not functioning properly. No, me. Why, why am I suddenly Provence? Oh, that's diplomacy. There you go. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Great, so that's changed. So basically at this point the royal marriage is almost useless. Almost. What are you up to? I don't care. You're trading. Do I give a shit that you arrived? <laughs> I guess not. Alright. Is, is our estimated trading come on up? I, I believe not. Maybe they haven't started trading yet. Oh, a protecting trade. Oh, okay. What can they do with these provinces then? Oh, I see. So these these are the provinces within London's fort of control. So, is it that if you siege London, you siege these provinces? 
So then Cornwall isn't protected. Or if you siege one of these provinces, you siege them all, and all of their fort defense comes from London. Okay. You guys stay in the London forts, where the supply limit's a little higher. And then also knock it up to speed three. An alliance offer from an Irish miner. Tyrone of all... No, no, Tyrone. It makes sense, actually. Oh, does it? No! Tyrone of all people, defensive ones. No, if we're going to accept an alliance from an Irish miner, it's going to be... It's going to be ones that are friendly towards us, of course. I don't even know if that's a good idea, because we're going to try and conquer this as early as possible. So, how have your alliances shaped up? Connacht and Scotland! Yay! Okay, monster! It's going to be you. There you go. So how are we looking on alliances now? How are our diplomatic chops? We are paused, right? Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. How's our... Yep, that's looking good. Keep that going for a while. Is there any reason to keep hoarding our money or should we use it on a building? That's the question. Oh yeah, I wanted to check this as well. Oh, that's interesting. So, it, it covers the exact same stuff as the London one. So, do do we need a fort up here? I, I, I don't quite understand how this works. <laughs> and that doesn't really show you anything. Because I'm assuming this is the only province that... Oh, unless this province... Hmm. hmm that's an interesting question. Alright, we're gonna load up... Is it A? Yeah, it is. We're gonna load up a bunch of troops on here. We're gonna mothball our heavies, though. We don't th I don't think I'm going to be at war with an Irish miner for a little while. <coughs> and we're also going to ally Austria if possible. We might have to wait a month. We do. 12th of December. And ally... Oh, we've already allied them. Portugal are already allied as well. Austria's more a defensive alliance than anything else. Um, I don't expect to be called into Holy Roman Wars. If I do, I'll be annoyed. Um, but it's mainly just to... It's mainly just to keep us safe from France. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> Please don't show me this. Munster, no. Royal marriages are um, something I, I always used to, I was like, oh, any ally I have, I should royal marriage them, right? What the hell's that key? Okay. I'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, I was like, oh, all my alliances, I should royal marry them, right? Um... Royal marriage just make an alliance into a lot more of a into a lot more of a of a permanent thing. That's what you gotta watch out. So seriously, but this even covers it. <laughs> That's interesting. So what does zone of control mean? Maybe I can check the castle thing and see. It doesn't even freaking tell you, man. That's interesting. Maybe we'll learn as we go on. This is gonna be confusing, though. Alright, let's 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 see if we wanted to build a castle in Cornwall. <laughs> what that would do. It's apparently Welsh. I feel like... Eh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's been a while. Uh, but I remember that being the case as well. Does it tell you on here? No. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> I like the way this is set up. That's a university feels to me like it's not a government building, but that's just me. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, I feel like we should build one just in just to see what it does. Oh, there's apparently two buildings you can put in this place. Hmm. Ah, but that will cost a lot of money if we fuck it up, though. We're gonna do it. We're gonna put one up here in North Northumberland. In Newcastle, we're gonna put a fort. Just to see what it does. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to build. Yeah, you're protecting trade. That's a good icon for that. So, we put these guys here for more than just, uh, just defending the fort. <laughs> in case you hadn't realized. Ooh, that's a decent leader, too. And Alliance Arm from Austria, which I totally forgot to send to them. Tyrone, who have you allied? Nobody! Oh, babes. <laughs> do we have a Cassius Belli? We do not. So we shall start. 
we shall start doing so. Before we become... There's a lot of things like, oh, you can build your empire peacefully, and I feel like that is cool in a lot of ways. Um, but the first step... Um, yes! Edward Lancaster is our heir to the throne. Good stuff. Oh, God, Henry. Oh, God. You are being sent off to the battlefield, because that's all you're good for. Well, that reminds me, we should totally... Totally check on that. Uh, ooh, nice. That's not a bad general at all. Totally check on what's happening in Parliament right now. Nobody supports us. Great. When does this end? Oh, it's going to take like four years to end anyway. So you can... The, all of these, these counties that are... Um, that hold seats in Parliament have... Something that they want from you. Lose Navy tradition. Oh. I feel like we can get that back, but still. Four military power? Yeah. That's what the... Leg five legitimacy. Hmm. Army tradition. Cool. Inflation. Yeah. And then just two ducats. Yes. Alright, we now got a 64% chance of winning the debate. Which is good. I assume if we brave what... Let's let's lose that legitimacy and see if that goes... Yeah, it goes up to 85. I don't feel like we can. We need to lose tradition to to, to win this debate. There you go. I, so, I feel like having more seats in Parliament is a good idea. Because you don't need to have them all. Like, th that's not 85% of Parliament, at least not in my bad maths. Uh, it's not. So, you don't need that percentage. You just need to get a certain number. So, hmm. I feel like that's a good thing. Friesland. Aha, I've become a free city. Good. And also, we need to start um, doing some shit with... Uh, with Norway as well, because we want these. We want these. We seriously? Oh, because we're not Scotland. <laughs> oh god, that's yeah. <laughs> we need Scotland first, which is gonna take a while. How pissed are you right now, France? Oh, you're soups pissed. You're soup soups pissed. Aquitaine. That's not ours, right? Who are you warring with France by? I don't care about Blue Squadron. I really don't give a shit about Blue Squadron at all. Who the hell is Aquitaine? Okay, let's search this thing. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> okay, what is it? Oh, France. Oh, you've... No, that's Burgundy. Okay. Aquitain. <laughs> okay. That's a thing. Come on, now. Alright. Come on, you four. Work with me. Work with me here. Alright, screw you, then. <laughs> I, that might be one of ours. It might be like an area. I really don't care about Blue Squadron. <laughs> Game. You never used to do this to me. Can I just like... Set you to do your, your shit? Or should I just set my message, message settings? Probably. Wait, I forgot about trigger modifiers. There's probably more of these now. Or maybe not. I don't think there are, I think that's normal. Alright. Did I just save or something? I don't know. Oh, we just... Well, we never fabricated on Norway because obviously we're... Yeah, we're, we're not allowed to yet. Alright, any other allies we want? Do we want Burgundy as an ally? ally? Alliances can be temporary. And that's what this one shall be. Because we we can, right? Shit, I should have I checked our... Or diplo diplomatic, uh, oh, we can. That's fine. Whew. Hmm, okay. Oh, I see. So if you're a, a, a monarchy, you can be either a duchy, a kingdom, or an empire. And a higher rank government. So 